Okay, Shaughnessy, where do you want to eat lunch today on our way home? What? I said, where do you want to eat lunch on our way home? What? Where do you want to eat lunch today? What? You want to just get a burger somewhere? What a burger. Oh, what a burger. Mm -hmm. Why didn't you just say that? What am I saying? Okay, folks, we are back at a place we have not been since we were in Texas in April. We are in Jacksonville, Florida at Whataburger. We're excited about being back at one. We enjoyed it when we were in Texas. We haven't been around another one, so uh, now we are on our way home today. We're going to stop in here at Whataburger and check this place out. So you ready? I'm ready. something you don't see every day three dogs on a motorcycle looks like Barney's sidecar there on Andy Griffith's show <laughs> one dog wearing sunglasses <laughs> so we are excited to be back at Whataburger today here just south of Jacksonville Florida and this looks like a really nice one maybe even a relatively new one I'm not sure but the building looks very nice so uh, we're going to step in here and we're going to check it out. Now, w one thing about Whataburger, it's always 100% pure beef, never frozen. I like that. Um, they also have breakfast here at Whataburger. I like that right there. And it looks like their featured shake is a white chocolate raspberry. I was hoping they would still have that banana pudding shake that um, we saw the VA Fun Seekers try. But they don't, so... We'll have to give this one a try. Here it tells a little bit about what sets Whataburger apart. I do not know if you're gonna be able to see that or not. So here's the inside of the restaurant. This is actually a pretty nice one. Okay. okay, so our total today came to $24.96 and um, Shaughnessy, why don't you tell us what you got? So I got the patty meal. Um, looks like it's on like garlic toast or it's, or Texas toast. I shouldn't say garlic. Um, I can't tell if it's two patties or not from here. Um, and then of course I got the onion rings because they were really, really good. And when we're done, we're getting one of these. I love raspberry yeah. anything, so that's going to be delicious. When we were in Texas, they were um, they always have a special shake, it seems like, that they're mm -hmm. featuring. So that, that night it was a Dr. Pepper shake, and it had really very little flavor. Very, very little. And it was That was like the a, one in Arlington. We tried it again in San Antonio, and it was better. It was. I think they put the flavoring in the first time. Yeah, I, I think so. Saying, at first I was like, okay, it's okay. But I was yeah. like, I can't really taste nothing. So then we saw... Um, the VA Fun Seekers, they went to one in Florida, or two, they might have gone to two, and they got the banana pudding shake. I was really hoping they were still having that. That but sounded I, good. 
Yeah, but we're gonna go with this one today. I'm not really a white chocolate person, but maybe the raspberry will. I think you'd taste the yeah. raspberry more. But they have items you can purchase. I'm like, they have snuggle, little burgers, like Snuggies. <laughs> no. No, <laughs> I wasn't even thinking that. Yeah, but if, if that's your thing, uh, we will make you aware of it. Yeah. <laughs> so I got the, um, um, I thought Cindy's um, uh, sweet and spicy bacon burger uh, looked and sounded good. Mm -hmm. So I went with that. I'm very glad they had a picture of it in the window before I came in because it was loaded with onions. So I would not have known to tell them not to put onions on it uh, if I hadn't yeah. seen that. So mm -hmm. I got it without onions, but hopefully the bacon and the uh, I think it's like a teriyaki maybe sauce. I think that's what she said. A teriyaki yeah. maybe barbecue. Mm -hmm. So I'm looking forward to trying that. Something different. But we're excited to be back at Whataburger. Mm -hmm. We haven't really had the opportunity since April on the Texas trip. One thing I want to say about Whataburger, I had forgotten this, but I remember it now from our Texas visits, is the drink size you get with the combo meals. That's supposed to be a medium. That's a large anywhere else. Yeah, that, those are that's a, really that's a, big that's a tex It's a Texas chain. That's a Texas size cup right there. I don't even know if they have large. So I, the lids up at the top, I don't know if I actually saw a large or not. Yeah, see, we don't have these in North Carolina. And I know when I say that, somebody's going to come and tell me that there is one uh, down near Charlotte, but it's not the same thing. Um, they actually, uh, it, they use the name, but they have to hyphenate it and separate it because they can't use it like that in that form. So it's not the same. It's not part of the Whataburger chain, but there are some in Tennessee, Nashville, and West, and there's some in Florida and, and Georgia. So hopefully one of these days we'll get one. So get close. We like just, Culver's. We just know. got a Culver's, so maybe we'll get so, a Whataburger. Yeah. Oh. So this one's actually going to be yours. All right. So it's just, turn it over in the right way here. The so sweet okay. and spicy burger. So there's all your sauce. There's the bacon <laughs> on it. That ain't much bacon, is it? <laughs> And then it's like the cheese is in between your they, they must grow skinny pigs down there. Very saucy. Okay. And then you've got and my fries. fries to go with that. All right. And you got the onion rings because you really like those. Those onion rings were very good. So okay. Onion rings. And then I got the patty milk, which is on thicker toast. And okay. you got any, you got some type of sauce. Oh, okay. And then there's some onions in there, not, not an overload. All right. So you do have not tried the patty melt here, have you? I don't think so. I think I've just gotten regular burgers. Okay, so do you want to take a test here? All right. Yeah, very good, but I think it needs some mayonnaise. Well, they'll give you some mayonnaise. Mm -hmm. You want me right? I don't know if there's any packs. There's up not. There. I'll go grab some. Okay. All right. So try an onion ring right quick, and then I'll cut it off. Sorry. <laughs> so apparently those onions are not as soft as what I would need them to be to eat an onion ring. They're pretty soft. They're just as delicious okay. as always. Okay. Okay, so we'll try another bite of the um, sweet and spicy bacon burger. That is very good. It took me several times chewing to even taste the spicy or the sweet. At first, it's just the burger. Um, I want to say they give you a lot of meat on these. It's two uh, patties on it, but they're big around. They're really big around. They're not too thick, but they're big around. Um, good thick burger with two pieces. But, um, yeah, I like that sweet and spicy. That's different, but I like it. It just took me a couple of times to, uh, chewing it to taste it. But uh, also, the french fries are just fries, but... They got the spicy ketchup, which is really good on them. So I would recommend the spicy ketchup when you come. All right, so we did end up getting two small uh, shakes. Yeah, the white chocolate raspberry shake. White chocolate raspberry. And again, I'm not a white chocolate person, but I am curious. I can taste the raspberry, and the white chocolate gives it a nice creamy okay flavor. i think it's good for me i hope and i haven't tasted mine yet i hope the raspberry is predominant mm -hmm. i don't know what it is about white chocolate i just never liked it Cho I chocolate ain't white okay. yeah i prefer it to be milk chocolate that's <clears throat> if, my favorite if it's white it's vanilla you know <laughs> uh, but this is good it's, it's good and creamy okay well i'm gonna try it so you wanna let's see what he thinks of that this is about the first white chocolate i've had in 30 years probably <laughs> Yeah. 
I'm not tasting much raspberry. Oh, really? Did you, did you think, I mean, a little bit, but. I mean, it's not like it's starting overly. Starting to Dr. Pepper shake. Well, taste, compare my, I can taste the raspberry in mine. Let me taste yours. Right. I think stirring it around might have helped. I don't, I don't know why. Okay. Uh, maybe it's just at first I didn't, but. Yeah, I taste enough raspberry that the white chocolate's really, it is like you said, it's creamier. Creamy. So, I think I think it's good. Yeah. I still would like to have tried that banana pudding. But, um, maybe at some point we'll be buy one and they'll have the banana pudding This flavors. makes me curious as to what other flavors they feature because who would ever think of a white chocolate raspberry shake? You know, we went to that place in St. Augustine last night and they had a key lime pie coconut. And now, that was excellent. I wouldn't put this up there with that, but it's, it's an interesting flavor, so I'm very curious what other flavors they feature throughout. Oh, yeah. And how yeah. often they change it. Yeah, throughout the year. <clears throat> yeah, I was kind of wondering, since it's just right after Christmas, if they would have like a Christmas flavor or something like that. Well, I bet, I wonder if before Christmas, maybe they did. Yeah, maybe That's so. what I would have thought, but everybody does that, like a peppermint or an eggnog yeah. or something. But anyway, yeah, it's, it's good. Okay, well, good. All right, well, we just finished up here at Whataburger in Jacksonville, Florida. Now, um, I'm gonna say a couple of things. Um, I was actually doing some reading while I was waiting on her to finish her milkshake in there. I had mentioned at the beginning of this video how some people from like the North Carolina area tell me that there's a Whataburger there, but it's actually not the same chain. It's uh, This is written all as one word, as you can see there, are no, no hyphens between it. And the ones in North Carolina and Virginia actually have hyphens between them. It's two different companies. What I did not know was uh, until just a few minutes ago that uh, the ones in Virginia actually started first and the ones in North Carolina, they actually preceded the Texas Whataburger chain by a little bit and then eventually um, they didn't even know about each other. Then when they finally found out, each company sued the other for trademark infringement. Oh, but wow. but um, neither uh, company actually was able to make the other one change their name because the names were written differently. So I thought that was that was kind of interesting. But um, this is the Texas chain Whataburger. Uh, I think there's almost about 700 locations in Texas. There's actually seven in and around the Jacksonville area. So this is the closest one to I-95, so that's why we're at this one. But I was looking it up, there's actually seven locations in and around Jacksonville. I thought there was just three initially, but I just looked, checked their website. So anyway, uh, we stopped here today, first time since April we've been in one. And um, why don't you start us off and tell us. Okay, so I got the patty melt combo. Um, it was on like Texas toast, um, had two patties. They're big or round, they're not like really thick or anything like that. Um, had a slice of cheese on there. They didn't really have a lot of whatever sauce on there and they really didn't have a lot of the sauteed onions. I mean, that's fine. Um, I got some mayonnaise um, from the kitchen. They didn't have little packs. So it made it good. Um, I enjoyed it. Uh, my onion rings were good as always. They just, the onions you just couldn't really, like when you take a bite, it's not like you could just take a bite of half of it. It's like the whole onion <laughs> wanted to come out yeah, of it, as you I can see. <laughs> but it That's was, why I thought maybe they weren't soft. They were still soft, but they just like wouldn't, I don't know, maybe I've eaten too much, just my teeth are dull, I don't know. <laughs> and I know they don't happen, that's just, anyway. And the milkshake, that white chocolate raspberry milkshake was very good. Um, had, you know, raspberry flavoring, and then that white chocolate gave it like a creamy taste. It was yeah. good. I'm full. <clears throat> yeah. One thing you will get here is full. Um, I will say their burgers, like she said, they're not thick, but they're pretty big around. So uh, I, I remember, I'll never forget, uh, the first time we had Whataburger, it was late. We had just uh, landed at DFW. This was back in April, and, we, and I wanted to try Whataburger on that Texas trip. So we found one in Arlington, not too far from our motel. And... I remember I was famished because, you know, airplane meals are not what they used to be. It's like a pack of cookies and a drink yeah, now. Yeah, and we, I don't think we had lunch that day, yeah. so it was late. So I actually just thought, you know, I got to have something substantial. And I remember ordering that triple meat burger. <laughs> I could hardly walk out of there. And then uh, I ordered both well, yeah. medium-sized milkshakes, so, and he's like... <laughs> yeah, if you go back to that first review, I think I advise you, do not eat the triple meat burger unless you just haven't eaten in three days. Because <laughs> uh, that's a lot of meat. So I did get the double meat today. Well, actually, there is a double meat burger. I got the sweet and spicy, but it comes with two patties, so it was double as well um so I, what i want to say about that when i first took a bite i told you that it takes a minute to taste the sweet and spicy 
Well, that's because it's all in the middle, I found out. Once you get to the middle, it's very sweet and spicy. So what it was, it just needed to be spread out a little bit better on the burger. Um, the bacon was a little bit, I was, I was surprised for all the meat they gave him the size drink. Uh, that was probably the sorriest piece of bacon I've ever seen. It was just like one little curled up piece in the middle. I was kind of expecting bacon like you see in any other bacon burger. Yes, slices across it. That's kind of what I was expecting. That's not what I got. Um, but the burger itself was good. I added a little bit of mayonnaise to it. It apparently already had mustard on it. I wish I'd known. I don't dislike mustard. I just, you know, I'd rather have mayonnaise. But um, I had to ask them to do it without onions. They did that. It was a good flavor. I think I'd go back to just a regular uh, cheeseburger with mayonnaise and And I pickles. would agree with that. My patty <clears throat> was good, but I think I'd go yeah. back with a regular burger. I'm surprised you didn't try patty melt the first two times because that's what you almost always get if you're at a place that's got one. Yeah, I, the first time I think I got just a regular burger, I'm assuming that's what I got the second time. Mm. I don't remember their patty melt. Okay. Um, but yeah, their fries are just fast food fries, really, and uh, they do have a, a spicy ketchup. I would recommend that. But the burger overall was good. The, the milkshake was... was was good. I mean, I, I wouldn't put it up there with what I had last night, but it was good. Um, I gotta say this to be fair, the bathrooms need attention, at least the men's does. Uh, it needs attention quick. <laughs> um, I, if, if I go to a place that has a nasty bathroom with a bad odor, it's just kind of a, uh, um, it turns my stomach a little bit. You know, we just came from Bucky's, and one thing about Bucky's, they advertise the world's cleanest restrooms, and they don't lie about that. They have more restrooms, uh, stalls than any convenience store on the planet. And they're spotless. I've been to gas stations. They can't even keep one clean. Well, there's like always a bathroom yeah. attendant in there cleaning it yeah. as well. Well, but here, they, they need somebody well, they to need attend to this, yeah. too. I don't know. I uh, this this one was not, not clean at all. Mm -hmm. uh, the restaurant itself was nice. The rest of the restaurant was clean. Yeah. Uh, no, no problems there. But just, uh, yeah, the bathroom needed some attention. But anyway, um, I, I like Whataburger. I hope we get one close to us at some point. Mm -hmm. The quality of the beef here is really good. Uh, I like it. Um, I would put it up there with the Culver's. I think those are those some really good elite burgers. Yeah. So anyway, that's our review. So if you like this video, like and subscribe. And find and follow us on Facebook. And have a blessed day.